If you press the subscribe button, I will give you multiple cookies. Hey guys, what is going on? It is Flo Delicious here, and uh, you can call me Nick. But uh, today I have a nice Black Ops gameplay. Um, change of pace a bit, because I have been getting very seriously bored with uh, Modern Warfare 3. Um, in this video, you may see my terrible theater mode skills. Like right here, I accidentally switch out the HUD and then some random stuff. But the point is that I have... Uh, this is a quality 720p video. Um, yeah, just thought I'd put that out there. Recorded with the Hot Pocket GPVR. Um, but anyway, uh, today I just want to give a quick... Uh, give a quick commentary. Uh, has fun funness um, I can't pronounce words sometimes but yeah I want to give a nice uh, a nice commentary to mystery gamers TV otherwise known as mystery TV and this is a fail of a death but I don't really care anyway uh, mystery gamers TV uh, is a great great YouTube channel um, they are sponsoring talented directors oh, such as myself <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'm not really that talented, I just talk over microphones. But, um, they're sponsoring talented directors, uh, to become directors, to become direct for their channel on YouTube, uh, which is also part of TGN. Just a, just a, just a little fact, just a little fact right there. But, uh, yeah, they are, they've been great to me, uh, ever since I first started with Mystery Gamers, and now they have a new channel, and they're paying, um, uh, which is not really the reason why I did this, it was just because it's a hobby of mine and I like I like talking about stuff but anyway uh, thank you to them uh, I, uh, I salute you with my with my fake hat uh, but anyway today I just want to I just want to talk about a few things uh, with games um, specifically Call of Duty and uh, I know a lot of people have been seeing this Iron Wolf website um, whole thing I'll send you a link in the description or maybe even an annotation if I feel like I'm going to get fancy but, uh, yeah, it's, it's called Iron Wolf, and basically what it is, is it's supposedly going to be the next Treyarch Call of Duty. And I have, I don't know what this is going to be about, um, nor do I, I guess I, I care, but I don't, I really do care, but I just don't know if it's legit or not. That's, that's my big problem with this, um, because... Earlier on that website, I did see, uh, they spelled Treyarch wrong. They spelled it Treyarch. Uh, I know, I can't really pronounce my A's and E's differently. But they pronounced it Treyarch, uh, or spelled it like that. And I didn't, I was wondering if it was legit. So I went back on today, um, just, you know, just give it to some time. And I expected it to be exactly the same, but it was not. It now spells it exactly the same, and it gives email addresses and all that other stuff. Um, it makes me wonder if it's legit or not. I mean, I would be very excited, since I enjoy the Treyarch titles more than the, uh, the Infinity Ward. Infinity Ward? Infinity Ward titles. Um, because, I don't know, I like, I like this style of gameplay more than the Infinity Ward titles. I mean, Modern Warfare 3, um, well, none of their weapons are balanced. I mean, come on. You, if, even if you're a hardcore... Call it triple nade. Even if you're a hardcore Call of Duty fanatic, uh, fanboy, person, ex con, ex con person, um, then you would agree that Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2 are so well balanced. I mean, if any wars gotta get their acts together, the maps, the maps are great. Uh, that's why I was thinking, if if, if Treyarch and Infinity War were together and make one Call of Duty game like Iron Wolf, it would be amazing! Because Infinity War would handle the maps, Infinity War would handle the maps, <laughs> and Treyarch would handle everything else, and everything would be fine, because it would be a game where both uh, developers would have a say in whatever, and everyone would enjoy it across all, all the spectrums uh, of the world, including the color spectrum. Um, okay, never mind that. But anyway... Um, today, I, uh, that's, that's really what I want to talk about, um, it's just that, uh, you know, imagine if they both came together. Imagine if Iron Wolf was kind of a, kind of a joint idea, because, uh, Modern Warfare 3 isn't really that good, maybe they were helping Treyarch out a bit. I don't know. 
But, uh, yeah, tell me uh, what you guys think in the comments below um, about this whole idea of, I don't know, Infinity Ward and Treyarch and just the fact that there's going to be another Call of Duty game coming out really, really soon. Well, not really, really soon, but February, not February. Hey, what are you saying? Um, fall. But, uh, just tell me what you think, because I'd like to hear what other people's opinions on this is, because I'm... I'm not the best opinion person, um, and I don't really like politics. Uh, but that's that's irrelevant. Um, but yeah, I I like Treyarch. I like these Treyarch games, uh, like World of War and this. But um, if you if you have another opinion, let me know, and I really like to I really like to um, see what you think. Um, and tell me what you think the next Call of Duty is going to be called, because apparently it's going to be Iron Wolf. But I am I'm not so sure about that due to the website's legitimacy. Um, but anyway, oh, stupid death. I always get shot from behind on Nuketown. This was a fun match, though. I went, uh... I wish I won't spoil the score. But, uh, I think I may or may not be the boss in this match. Just saying. Um, no, I'm not the boss. I'm gonna pick the person who has the most captures! And who plays the objective, because I do not play the objective. I'm a, uh, I'm a kill whore, uh, person of... I like to destroy people. And I like to use hardline sometimes, which, uh, pretty newbie, gotta say, but, uh, what are you gonna do, man? What are you gonna do? I mean, I get really frustrated when I die, when I'm one away from dogs, so, whatever. Uh, but yeah, uh, blah, 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 tell me what you guys think about, uh, about the next Call of Duty. Uh, this gameplay is about to wrap up, I believe, because we lost this game, and you wanna know why? You wanna know why? Because I'm giving... The other team, the boss, because they, only one person on the other team raged. Only one person, and they still won, even though I was basically destroying them. I gotta give them credit for that. That, that takes skill, because I would have raged as soon as the other team got dogs. That's the kind of person I am. If I shouldn't have said that, now I'm gonna get hate on this. Um, but I don't really want hate on this. I think it's, I think it's, uh, more important to respect one another, especially on YouTube. Value each other's, oh, what am I saying? Nobody cares. Everyone's just a troll. Um, but yeah, the next Call of Duty game! This is, uh, this is a great Call of Duty game, Malak Ops. And, uh, I am looking forward to the next Call of Duty. I hope you are too. By Treyarch. Tr not Treyarch, according to the website. But, uh, yeah, I hope you visit that website and see what you guys think about that. Um, because I personally think that, uh, it's not realistic, it's not legitimate, but, uh, I am excited. I, I get that little, that little nerd feeling inside of me. Not nerd. Call of Duty is a nerd game. Call of Duty is a hardcore killing game. I get that hardcore killing feeling in my mind that says I want to kill more people. And, uh, that's, that's really psychopathic. But anyway, yeah, guys, uh, this is, this is about to wrap up. I think, yes, it is. I think it ends up being 200 to, I think, 130, maybe? Um, but yeah, uh, it's, it's just sad that we lost because of this. Um, yeah, 201 to 126. Failure. But this week's episode's boss for the first one on Mystery Gamers TV! That was really loud. I'm going to have to turn that down. Is zero... Pillow Shine 3 he is our boss of the week. Please give him some love, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Good night, and you are a boss too.